Georgie here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, we're going to get into an episode of Ladies Who List Atlanta. Ladies Who List definitely uh, is taking over, you know, the own network. Everybody's loving it so far. I'm not sure. Is Carlos the producer? Carlos King the producer of Ladies Who List? Is, you know, is he the one who brought it up? I'm not sure, but nonetheless, I'm liking it so far. Um, but we got to get into Miss Crystal. Miss Crystal, Miss Crystal. Um, before I was saying, I don't think I would like Crystal. After this episode, oh, I know I don't like Crystal. There is just something about her that is just very intentional. Uh, she does not do anything without thinking about it. And I just am very much aware now of how much she, um... I'm just aware of how much she really is um, manipulative. I'll just give it that way. She's very manipulative. Um, and I don't like it. I don't F with it. And then when she gets, you know, found out, she's definitely the, you know, the, the throw the rock, hide the hand person. And I'm really starting to see that this episode. And I just, I just can't fuck with it. I'm like Tiffany. Had I seen what you did to your friend over there, I already know I'm going to keep my distance. I don't need to you know, see anything else about how you operate to know if I want to like have you in my circle or around my energy. I just know I wouldn't do that. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and get into this episode. You guys, if you're new to my channel, hey, how you doing? Hit that subscribe button. Everybody else, drop down in the comments and let me know what you stopped by. Tell me how you feel about the episode. Are you guys, you know, still trying to give Crystal a chance? Are you, you know, maybe thinking this is it for her? Do you guys feel like her and Robin should try to reconnect their friendship? You know, where are you falling in between, you know, with Crystal and Robin? Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So speaking of Robin, we open up with her talking to Kiana. We finally get, you know, to the, the whole money issue with the contracts. Kiana is under the understanding that Robin wanted 500 per contract. She got 26 contracts. 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 That's 13 thou wow. Okay. 13,000 ducats. And Robin all of a sudden pulls out 500 a contract. Oh no, I meant 500 period, like across the board. And Kiana was like, are you sure? Because that's not, that's, that's not what I heard. Like, I know I don't mess up my money. Like, I know you said 500 per contract. Uh-uh, girlfriend. That's what Robert's like. Uh-uh, you goofed that one. That was you, girl. That's on you because I was meaning 500 across the board. I would never do that to anybody. And Kiana's like, no, like, I remember replying back to you, but wait, I have 26 contracts. You want 500 per contract. And Robin is sticking to her guns of, no, I'm in a flat fee. I was saying 500 just in general over that. So that's why Kiana, you can tell when you're arguing with somebody who you know is not going to let go of the bone. And I think in that moment, she could definitely sense that Robin was not going to let go of that lie. Do you guys think Robin meant 500 per contract or 500 period? I'm sorry, Robin, but I'm looking at Kiana and her energy. I'm just not thinking she's going to make that mistake. Like, I don't think she would have clarified in that moment, you know, or misunderstood $500 in regards to how serious it was at that moment for her trying to get that stuff done. Um, so basically, you know, sometimes you just gotta let people have it, even though you know you in the right, you just like, what's the point of arguing with somebody when you know, like, you're not gonna get anywhere? So basically, Kiana let that shit slide, and they, you know, uh, peaky promised, you know, to have better communication going forward. Um, so we see, um, in the next scene, it was a lot of just random, oh, so we get back to, remember, uh, Mr. Hibachi? And we thought, like, he just randomly disappeared last episode where it's like, oh, 1.5. And he was like, oh, no. And then, like, he didn't show up the rest of the episode. Well, finally, we finished that scene with Tiana and him. And he was not feeling the vibe of 1.5 million. Um, as a real estate, a real estate, as a realtor, she's letting him know, like, yeah, you know, you put a lot of money into renovating this, but the area that we are at you know, you might have overdid it because I've watched enough, you know, um, million dollar listings on Bravo to know that sometimes people will get a, a, a property, you know, renovate it, put all this money into it, thinking that it's gonna, you know, resell at a higher price. 
but you're not considering, you know, the location, the square footage, like even though, like he said, I got basically everything in here. Basically the person, all they got to do is move in. But, you know, he's not thinking about location, the building you're in, like the amenities that the building offer. Like you could have put a million dollars into a property that it might not even be worth it. And so for her, she's like, basically, we'll revisit this, you know, maybe in a couple of years, you'll get more in your money, you know, just basically sit on it. Hell, he got the money to do it. So she was like, just, you know, allow me to be a realtor, you know, you know, let's basically come back to this when the market, you know, maybe fits it better or, um... Or until we can like maybe find the person who's willing to pay, um, you know, that price. Um, so after the scene with Tiana, we see Kiana, Kira, and Crystal all meet up. Crystal? Crystal. What in the swollen melon balls hanging from gravity was that outfit? What was that outfit? It looked like straight shin. It was like, I don't know. It was like two straps like here. And then just like weird bralette like here across the titties. And the, the hoes was hanging. Like, you know, I'm just saying, Crystal, like you got two, your knockers too big. You know, that's what we used to call me and my friend in high school. <laughs> like if she got a big titty, we call them knockers. Okay, so she got them knockers. And you you need a little more support, honey. Like that outfit was not it, boo boo. And she walked in, you could tell she was feeling herself, and it just was not it, Crystal. I'm just letting you know, man, boo boo. That 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 wasn't it. That 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 wasn't it. That's all I'm saying. It wasn't it. Um, but she's talking with Kiana and Kira, and they're basically discussing the dinner. You know, the dinner from hell. And Kiana's basically like, um, you know, how are you doing? You know, that dinner was, you know, a lot. Um, you know, I actually got done speaking with Robin, you know, about the contracts. You know, we, you know, we're in a better place. And Crystal's like, oh, oh, really? Like, that's so great to hear. Very condescending. Then in her confessional, she's like, am I upset that Kiana and Robin made up? <laughs> no, you know, because I know they're, they, they didn't really resolve their issues. I don't, I don't believe they did. It's just kind of like something about Crystal as much as she wants to claim that she's her friend she just gives off this energy that she really does not want her to succeed or grow like she enjoys the fact that she has somebody whose life is a little bit shittier than hers and i'm sure got a lot to do with the fact that she ain't happy her and her man they situation at home ain't the greatest because she revealed that a little bit talking to kira but Crystal, as much as you want to give off like you're this confident woman, this, this, and that, at the end of the day, you can tell she's a woman who um, vies for a man. She gives off that energy. Like, she is one of those women who vies for a man. Um, and when her shit is not good at home, she gonna shit on everybody else or make it that much harder for everybody else in her life. And Robin definitely is one of those people. Um, as long as Robin's life is a little more chaotic, she feels good about hers. Um... But yeah, how condescending of her to be like, I mean, they didn't really resolve it. So like, why do I care? And just kind of like, wow, like you really don't want to see your friend do good. Um, so then, you know, they start discussing the dinner and she's like, I'm not even going to mention the word. And Kiana's like, hell, I'll mention it for you. And both her and Kira at the same time was like triggered. And so she was like, yeah, she's like, I had no idea that using that word was going to like make her react that way. You know, maybe I just need to expand my vocabulary. And it's like, you keep making it about the word and not your intention and not the context in which you were using the word. Like you're being an asshole, Crystal. You really are. You're making about you saying the word triggered and less about your energy, your context of using the word and how you did it. It's not what you say, but how you say it. And not only that, your friend is literally telling you, stop. <laughs> Your friend is literally saying, stop using that word. Stop using that word. And here you are. You're just triggered, Rob. You're just triggered. You're triggered. And you keep doing it. Like, Crystal, fuck off. Because, like, you definitely were just being, like, a-hole. Like, just asshole. That's the only word I can think about it. It's just asshole. Like, and you are really trying to just, like, eliminate this responsibility of Robin, you know, re like, acting that way and you played into it like you played into it and so Kiana tells her 
well, you know, the other ladies, you know, they kind of, you know, ha had a response to it. And they were like, oh, they were triggered as well. She was like, yeah, you know, Tiffany, she definitely kind of feels like, you know, if that was my friend, I would have took her to the side, you know, away from everybody. And Chris was like, oh, yeah, that's cute. You know, it's nice for everybody to have an opinion after. But, you know, that's good. You know, she can have her opinion. But what I got to say is, you know, it's none of her business. Um, she's not involved in it. So, you know. I can, I don't, I don't need her opinion. Kira kind of, in a way, defended her. Well, you know, you're going to experience everybody's, you know, everybody's allowed to have opinion on something. And that's the truth. Like, you don't like her opinion because you know her opinion is the truth. You are being a bully. You weren't considering your friends, you know, feelings. And how dare you walk into a situation knowing what your friend's goal is and not helping her achieve that. Every time somebody says something against Rob, you jumped on the bandwagon. So for Tiffany to have the opinion that she has, you just don't like it because it's the truth. Had her opinion been on your side, you would have been rocking with it. But because it's not, all of a sudden it's like, I mean, she has an opinion, you know. Everybody's going to have an opinion. Everybody's allowed to have an opinion. So for you just like, I mean, it doesn't involve her. I mean, she can just keep her opinion to herself. Looking at you, you sure do have a lot of opinions. And you certainly you know how to voice yours. So, bitch, everybody else is going to voice theirs. Like, the fuck? So, speaking of Tiffany, her and Tiana are doing, like, a little workout thing. Basically, they're just sitting at the park bench talking about everything. And um, Tiana's like, girl, I agree with you. That whole situation where Robin, like, Crystal was out of line. And um, Tiffany was like, yeah, I don't like that. Like, you know, I actually had a time, you know, how to a chance to sit down with Robin and we really like bonded just talked about our history you know talked about you know our our upbringing and things like that and Tiffany and Robin Tiffany brings an energy that Robin really is in need of and just somebody who's light and not as aggressive because then that's gonna bring out her aggression she's very sensitive to auras Robin um so um I feel like Tiffany is going to get a lot further with Robin than Crystal is. Um, hopefully Robin just don't get up because she's definitely a self-sabotager. Definitely a self-sabotager. Um, but nonetheless, uh, Tiffany um, is just talking about, you know, even despite all the things happening to her, she's getting ready to build her own, like, uh like brokerage firm or whatever and she's doing the opening Tiana's super proud of her she talks about her upbringing you know having a you know a crackhead mom you know her dad raised three daughters you know she's just glad of how far she's came and she's proud of Tiffany um Tiffany ain't about in crystal though and I'm not mad at it I'm sorry I'm not although it can seem like Tiffany may be jumping on Oh, you know, because Robin's mad at, you know, Robin's mad at Crystal, you know, and I'm kind of jamming with Robin. Like, I don't need to, you know, jam with Crystal too. I just think Tiffany is, I mean, she's like me in the essence of like, I don't need to, if I see who you are in an environment, I see how you are with your friends and I already know, mm, I don't fucks with it why am I inviting you places? Like, I'm not going to be fake about it. If I know I don't mess with you and I know I don't mess with your energy, I'm not going to bring you into my space. And so I respect Tiffany for that because at the end of the day, like, I'm watching you fuck your friend over in public. I don't want that around me. <laughs> um, so... Uh, Robin goes to see this dude named Robert. They've been, you know in uh, uh, a realtor, you know, client relationship for some years now. She goes to the homie crib, which is nice. And guess who come down? His little executive assistant talking about, yeah, Robert's in Puerto Rico. And you can tell that you can tell the assistant just lying her ass off and being hella pessimistic about it too, or being hella like sarcastic. Yeah, you know, he works a lot. <laughs> so he had to leave. And it's kind of like, bitch, fuck you. Like, <laughs> Let me call Robert myself to see. So she called Robert and he's like, yeah, you know, we bumped heads. I'm in Puerto Rico. I gave my listing to somebody else. And Robert's like, uh, the fuck? Um, sir, you low-key kind of cheating on me. This is kind of like one of them, like when you have a hairstylist and you go cheat on your hairstylist or when men have a barber and they cheat on, on their barber, this is kind of like that, like, Bro, we supposed to work together. Like, you cheating on me already? So, um, 
she was like, you know, we're both hotheads. You know, buy me dinner when you get back. We can talk about it. Um, so, um, what else happened after that? Um, there was something else that happened before everybody went to Tiffany's party. Um, oh, Kira. So, Kira has this dude, Alex. He bought this house. He renovated it. Her and Tiana go over there. It is beautiful. It was already a nice house, but when they go through and show the before and after picture, it was so nice. I love the lounge area that he had at the bottom. Um, he has like a trucking company, but he just expresses to Kira that, you know, he's happy with how far he's come. You know, he wants to um, uh, buy his mom a house. So, of course, you know, they're going to look into doing that for his mom's birthday. So, uh, Robin, y'all, Robin been looking good. When she step out that car... And she, you know, show body yaddy yaddy. Like, Robin is snatched, okay? She is snatched for the gods. Have the pants, titties up. Like, Robin look good for her age. She look really good. Um, But she goes in to speak with Robert. And uh, she's like, look, like, I want my house back. And he was like, hey, <laughs> Too bad, so sad. That bitch sold last night. So then she's like, huh? She's like, you lying. Like, you lying. He's like, no. And he actually shows her um, the contract. And sure enough, that bitch sold. And she feels some type of way because, one, she's like, wait a minute. Like, a huge part of selling the house is the advertisement. Those were my clips, my, you know, my video. Like, the other realtor basically used all of her um advertising to sell the house i would feel some type of way about that like if you're gonna steal my my you know my home like bitch do your own you know advertising and promotion and stuff like that don't use mine um but she was like robert like what's up like we're supposed to be you know homies you know dap it up and shit and he was like you know what robin you know you are good you are you know knowledgeable you know everything about realty or you know being a realtor you know everything about this area but um sometimes you gotta eat shit and she was like wait a minute i've been in this industry 17 years what you talking about eat shit i've done that and i think what he meant about that is sometimes robin you you stay up here right <laughs> you stay at the top of that energy of that just like it's a lot he's trying to tell you like sometimes you gotta bring it down because it can rub people off the wrong way robin has a very strong energy and i think she just does not know how she's not emotionally intelligent yet as in being able to control her emotions her emotions basically run her life she's not a person yet who has mastered you know not allowing herself to kind of go off the deep end and i think that's why robert kind of basically had to give her like a you know a slap on the hand and be like look you ain't gonna talk to me crazy i wonder what they argued like what happened in that argument because i know how robin is we know how robin is and she talking about he a hothead too so i can only imagine you know how that situation went but he was like look you know robert didn't you know tear her down without you know giving her a hand to lift her up he basically was like, look, go for it. You'll have my properties. You'll have everything. But, um, you know, let's, let's keep it cute. Okay. Um, so they basically like, you know, hand shook on that. So, uh, Kira, before we get to like the, 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 the um, the party for Tiffany, Kira actually goes over to see, you know, Crystal. She's like, Crystal invited me here. You know, we're having some type of like fancy lunch. So they sit down and they had the good old jumbo scrimps. You know, it was a nice little din din. Uh, Crystal was definitely doing her damnedest to poach Kira. She's like being fake and asking about her life. And, you know, of course, Kira's talking about how, you know, she was in this relationship, you know, having to take the step, steps forward. You know, she was, you know, hesitant, but damn near they house burned down. So the house burned down and the relationship burned down with it. Hell. Um, and Kira's like, oh my God, me the same thing. You know, I was in a relationship for four years, but I just had to get out of that because of the way I was being treated. Was that nigga cheating on her, y'all? I think he was. I think Crystal is one of those girls where she's strong in public, but in private. You know who she reminds me of? Kenya. She reminds me of Kenya. Very intentional with her manipulation she does not move without thinking about the steps and how you know she's going to do it with somebody, which is what I mean in this situation 
with Kira. I'm going to bring her over. I'm going to get to know her. And then boom, you want to work with me type situation. You strong out in person. You can tell everybody what to do. But when she get home, she let her nigga talk to her like shit. Like that's who Crystal reminds me of. Um, yeah, I don't know. Do y'all get what I'm saying? Y'all feel like y'all get what I'm saying? Because Crystal just gives off that energy of just like insecure and, and private. Um, especially when it comes to her man. But I mean, if he's doing you that, that bad, like eventually you're gonna have to let him go, even when you don't feel like it, boo boo. Um, but nonetheless, they that that food did look good though. It did look good. Um, she basically asked Kira, was like, you know what? I'm gonna cut to the chase. You know, you're doing numbers, girl. You are doing numbers, and I know that you close with Tiffany, but um, you know, there's enough business to go around with the numbers that you have. So are you gonna close with us or not? And, and Kira was like, wait a minute. Like, I mean, you know, I've had this relationship with Tiffany for a while. So what's the tea? What's the tea, sis? Why are you coming for me like that? So we get to Tiffany's party. The building is beautiful. She wanted to call it like a law firm lounge. And that's what it is. You can see the vibes. Um, so Tiffany basically gives her toast to her husband who was fine. She's like, I'll post him because she's like that nigga for me. Like he not for anybody else. And I can see why because baby, he, he's zaddy. Okay. Her husband was zaddy. He was cute. A little short for my liking because I'm tall. But you know what? He's cute. Um, so they get done with the toast and all the ladies are over there talking and, you know, Tiffany comes over really fast before she's like, you know, I got to work the room. So Kira's like, well, wait, before you do that, I want to tell you, Crystal kind of wind and dine me and basically was trying to get me to do business with her. And everybody had the same reaction of like, a word, a word. Oh, okay. Okay. Everybody's like, everybody literally saying the same thing. Like, Crystal, you know, you effing up. Like, you know, that's foul. And Crystal, I know you want to use the excuse of like, it's just enough business to go around. Like, there's no reason, you know, Tiffany should be mad. But had the roles been reversed and you were Tiffany, you know, you'd be pissed off. You know, you'd be pissed off. So now Tiffany, that's like strike two for Crystal with Tiffany. Because it's like, first, I know you F over your friends. And then second, here you are, you know, working behind people's backs. Like... Tiffany's already, she like, I had enough. Like, I've had enough with Crystal. Um, so, um, Robin, everybody look good. I love, Ke y'all, Kiana is bad. Kiana is, her, she, her hair game on point, makeup on point, outfit, like, she's showing up. And on first season, that is rare that on first season, somebody show up and is, you know, ready to go. <laughs> But Robin comes over and was like, let's take a picture. And Kira was like, I'm good. You know, go ahead. And it's kind of like, well, damn, okay. And so Robin kind of takes it as like, oh, well, like you're going to be immature still. Okay. So she pulls Kiana in a room and she basically talks to Kiana and was like, have you talked to, you know, Crystal? She's like, yeah, I talked to her last week. And she's like, I still haven't talked to her. So it's kind of like, hmm, because Crystal, when you were talking to Kiana and Kira, you said that, you know, you were you you were trying to fix things with Robin, but how are you trying to like fix things with your best friend when you're not reaching out to her? To me, in that situation, saw Crystal saw how much she aggravated or hurt Robin. To me, I feel like more of the responsibility is on Crystal to reach out to Robin. Am I tripping? I really feel like she should be the one reaching out to Robin. Um but Robin's like, I've texted her and she said, I'll reach back out to you, but she never reached back out. So Kiana's like, well, can you kind of see from her point of view? She's like, no, like she was like, what I saw her do. She has so many friends, you know, she's a sorority girl and I can't be friends with people because I don't know if they're going to befriend me. Hell, I think the first reason like she became my friend in the first place is because she wanted to make sure basically I wasn't hopping on her hut, like on her, on her, on her boyfriend. So Kiana's like, well, that's weird. Like, if you feel like she's, you know, starting off fake, why would you even try to keep being friends with her? And I think what Robin does is when she gets into an argument with somebody or she kind of has, like, maybe a conflict with somebody, she immediately goes to, like, the worst thing of why that happened. So, like, she basically is always already 
calculated or created a scenario in her mind of why this is like this. She self-sabotages and she looks for the other shoe to drop. She's already going to the negative. And so it's kind of crazy. Robin is kind of crazy for her to be like, well, she became my friend in the first place. So she knew I wasn't fucking her boyfriend. It's kind of like, whoa, okay. So she was like, Kiana basically was like, I see both sides. You just need to talk to her. So she was like, I mean, you know, she's, she was with, you know, hanging with like, you know, she was cool with Kira. And that's why Robin felt the type of way. Cause it's like, damn, like you don't even know Kira, but at the party, you was defending her over me. So it's understandable. Um, so she's like, well, speaking to Kira, like you see what she did. I'm trying to take pictures and be cool with her. And Kiara's like, well, I think she just don't want to be fake. Like, you know, I, if she don't mess with you and I get it. Like Kira can come off being, you know, immature, but also in the same sense, I can understand it's like, you know, we ain't resolved all shit yet. So I don't want to be fake with you. So I get both sides, but nonetheless, Robin's like, let's dead this right now. And she's like, you know, um, Kira, come, come, come here, come here, Kira. And then that's where the episode ended. So you guys tell me how you feel about ladies who list. Tell me who you're vibing with the most. I'm definitely vibing with Tiffany and Tiana and Kiana. Like, all them hoes is bad. And they, you know, I just I just like their vibes. Um, and what do you guys expect for Crystal um, and Robin? Who do you guys feel like is really more in the wrong in regards to their relationship kind of going, pew, psh, like, deceased, dead, done, stick a fork in it, ho. Um, but I appreciate you guys for tuning in. We will back be back for the new season of Ready to Love. Y'all make sure to follow my Instagram and Twitter. I'll catch you guys later. Deuces.